Hi, and welcome back. In this quick start lesson, you'll learn how to create a voice assistant in Protopie. UX isn't only limited to screens anymore. Voice design is crucial in today's digital experience, and that's where Protopie comes in. Did you know that Protopie supports 52 language variants for listening and 40 for speaking? How cool is that? But first, we must get Protopie listening to our voice command. You'll need to head to our system preferences to give Protopie permission to access the microphone. Pause this tutorial. I'll wait. When you're done, open our Pi file in Studio. Add a start trigger, and then add a listen response. Let's configure the voice command trigger. Leave the default action as start. For now, leave the checkbox beside continuous unchecked. We'll come back to this later and explain why you might want to enable this. Also note that Protopie understands many languages, not just English. This is perfect for creating localized voice experiences. Now let's add our voice command. We are creating a voice assistant named Avery, and we'd like to greet her. Add a voice command trigger. You can choose the trigger point. This is when Protopie will respond to your spoken command. If you choose while speaking, Protopie will respond as soon as it hears you speak the command. If you choose after speaking, Protopie will wait until you've stopped speaking before responding. Leave the default after speaking selected. Leave the box beside command checked for now. We'll come to this too. Next, configure the phrases that will trigger this command. Add the phrase, hello Avery. You can add additional phrases to allow for variations in how you might say your greeting. For example, you could also have this command triggered by the phrase, hi Avery. Add each variation on a new line in the phrases box. When you speak the command, we'd like Protopie to respond. Add a speak response under the voice command trigger. Enter the text, hi there, nice to meet you, in the content box. Additionally, we can update the display with the same phrase. Add a text response to the layer named Avery Voice with the contents, hi there, nice to meet you. Let's preview. You'll know Protopie is listening because the microphone icon is flashing in the bottom left corner. Say your command. Hello, Avery. Protopie responds with, Hi there. Nice to meet you. See how easy that was? In just a couple of minutes, you've created a simple voice interaction. Let's take a look at some of the other options. Restart your preview. This time, say anything other than the phrases you've configured in your voice command. What's the weather like? Now pause for a moment, then say your command. Hello, Avery. Nothing happened? This is because Protopie stopped listening after you said, what's the weather like? Remember this option? Check continuous. This will instruct Protopie to keep listening even after you've stopped talking. When using continuous, you need to change an option in your voice command trigger as well. Change the trigger point to while speaking. And since Protopie is still listening, we need to add a response under our voice command to stop listening. Add a listen response and choose stop. Now let's preview again. Say anything other than your voice command. What's the weather like? Pause, then say, hello, Avery. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Our experience works. Let's add some feedback. Let's have Protopie write on the screen exactly what you said. Add another voice command. Like before, configure the trigger point to while speaking, but this time, uncheck the box beside command. This will cause this trigger to fire regardless of what you say. Add a text response underneath to the feedback text field. Choose formula and enter dollar sign voice transcript into the formula box. Don't worry if you don't quite understand this yet. We cover formulas and variables in other quick start lessons. Just know that Protopie records whatever you say into this predefined variable called dollar sign voice transcript. Let's preview again. What's the weather like? You should see exactly what you speak reflected on the screen. We're almost done, but let's set up Protopie to restart listening again after finishing speaking. Add a listen response under our Hello Avery voice command trigger. Configured with Start and Continuous. Set the start delay to 3 seconds. This will give Protopie enough time to finish speaking before starting to listen again. Now, we can add as many other voice commands as we like. 
Just remember to restart listening again once each command is complete. Hello, Avery. Hi there. Nice to meet you. What's the weather like? It's currently 20 degrees and sunny. Turn on the lights. Okay, the lights are on. Easy as pie. Now you're ready to create your own voice interactions. See you in the next one.